receipts. Facts and receipts. <laughs> it ain't glammed up. It ain't glammed up. <laughs> Yo, you won't be pulling up in the bed. <laughs> let's let's look at this, man. Because I really want I, we got to see this thing for what it is. Look, look, let's pull it up. Despite our collective hopes and efforts, the fund's financial situation has deteriorated to a point where liquidation is the only viable option. Mm. As the lead investor with forty thousand dollars at stake and a fellow real estate developer, I've been closely monitoring the situation and conducting extensive research into the fund's operations, which can all be found at www.tulsarealestatefraud.com. That's Tulsa. Oh my God. That's a fraud. Listen, he put up $40,000, which ain't a ton of money um, for an investment. Shout out my guy Darby in the building. So, um, so Not a ton of money, but he, he, here's, the th here, here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? This thing is getting liquidated in my opinion, right? Matter of fact, what, what, why do you believe this fund is unsuccessful? Oh, and then I want to get Darby in on this after that. Well, uh, number one is ego. He got a huge ego. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, no experience. Mm -hmm. uh, number three, he's paying himself from the fund that's not producing. So, and bad investment. So he bought a building that has to stay open. You have to run the AC. You got to run the water. Bro, the monthly expenses on that joint got to be 15 bands minimum. Easy. You know what I'm saying? Minimum. So we do 15 bands from 2020. 15 times 12 equals 180. 180 times 4. That's 720,000 right there. Wow. That's just on operating the building. You know what I'm saying? That's not other things. Uh, he pay himself, I think, maybe... I don't know the percentage, but I know it's over a million a year. So that's another four million gone. Uh, he had to rehab the thing. He had to buy it. That's another two and a half million. So the money just keep going down. He bought his own personal house, rehab it out of that. That's money gone. So bad choices, no experience, uh, no guidance, no help. And I think overall his ego got him to the level where it's at. Well, the fund was based on ego, right? I mean, it would, they didn't have no specific yeah. thing that they were invested in, right? Yeah. I think uh, after he's seen it going south, he should have used that money to invest in mentorship, use the money to buy another partner that got experience. That's what I would have did. If I seen it going south, if I know we was, if I raised 11.2 million or whatever it is, and we got down to 8 million and I have no, no results, I'm going to take that money and go get somebody else to do this. And I'm going to just be uh, on the board. Or I'm going to be the face and they running everything. And I let people know, look, uh, I didn't have ex as much experience as I thought. So I hired this guy to come in. We're not partners in the fund. This is introduce him, whatever. This is his plans of action moving forward. Boom. I, I fully support what he's going to do. I hope you guys fully support him as well. Let's move it forward. Let's make this money. It's that just simple. Like that. But I think his ego, his pride would never allow him to do that. Wow. That is disgusting, by the way. Uh, Darby, what's your thoughts on this? Why do you believe this thing is, is it has failed? Um, I would say it, it failed on a multitude of things. Uh, he sold a dream. <laughs> and he was selling dreams for a long time. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was selling the dream for a long time, but he just wanted to be the Malcolm X in the dream. The thing is, though, he sold people on, uh, just like what y'all saying, you know, uh, you know, kings and queens, you know, we need to do generational wealth. That's such a triggering word to me now, because uh, some so many people use that now, and it's just like, all right, shut up. You know what I mean? Like, we get it, we get it, but how y'all trying to sell it is, is terrible. And then he all he he sold to the people who related to him. As far as I don't know nothing, but I know where I want to go and I know where I want to be. But the thing is, though, you know, people was putting money into pots that had a hole in it and that hole fell into his pocket. You know what I mean? And where his success came from was just like, he's a great salesman. That was it. 
he's a great salesman to the people who related to his quote unquote struggle in life. Because I, I'll be honest, man, I was a fan of him in like the early like 2013, 2014. Like that was one of the first black people I seen that talks about real estate. Now he had, he ain't had nothing to buy then, but uh, but he just talked about it all the time. I seen him on YouTube. And I was like, okay, cool. I want to be like him, but he didn't have no substance for me to follow. You know, now we're in this age now to where real estate became popular in the black community and it became digestible to where we could actually take action. Now he took that 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 second wave and just sold people what I was saying yesterday or the day before is that, listen, he sold a lot of dream without no action. No, that, that was it. And people bought into it because he could talk that talk. And, you know, he put, he put on that, that that street form, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm from the street, but look at me now. I got nice suits and stuff like that. People bought the suits and bought the Ferraris, but not the product because he didn't have a My product Jesus. to sell. Wow. Wow. So the fund is liquidating, right? The, he can't afford it. They place in the black house up for sale. Let's listen to this, man. This this just gets more and more disgusting. As we listen. <laughs> Let's just listen to this, man. Tulsa real estate fraud.com. Over the past year, I've made numerous attempts to communicate privately with Jay Morrison, the funds manager, to address concerns and seek clarity on the fund status long before it got to this point. However, my requests for meetings were repeatedly ignored leaving me with no choice but to share my findings publicly to ensure that all 15,000 investors worldwide are informed about the actions of the fund's management. Based on the limited information available from the fund's outdated SEC filings and a recent investor call on April 2nd, 2024, it has become apparent that Jay Morrison is proceeding with the liquidation of the fund. The decision is a direct... Pause. See... Let me explain something, man. Right? It, it's, it's a word called integrity. Right? It's a word called integrity. This is word is very important. Now, for us to hear about the, this, the black house being for sale by anybody other than Jay Morrison himself, it's utterly crazy. disgusting. Yeah, it's crazy. Because he is promoting it. Bro, like, listen Heavy. to me, bro. This dude came out <laughs> with a beautiful intro when he was when he was asking you for your money. He was straight. Listen, he had you couldn't take him off of a camera. Now that he is having to liquidate. He had. He can't even tell you, be man enough and tell you, listen, I'm selling the black house because we can't afford it. Integrity. He, 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 he's, a, he's a capital performer of being a narcissist. He can't, he, can't he can't take that. He can't take that downfall like a man. He can't take that downfall like a man. You know what I mean? And, and we understand, like as black people, we understand. But you you sold a dream, and you sold you sold hope to people who didn't know what hope really meant financially, right? So now, well, hope is, is hope and financial ain't the same thing. Matter of well, fact, here, well, this is what I mean by that. He sold hope in the financial dream, like hey, you know, if you get this, I promise you, you're gonna get back, and we're gonna make you, you know, financially wealthy, so on and so forth. So we. As a hope, we was like, "Hey, listen, I don't even know what was the what was the minimum fee you can get in with like two five hundred, five hundred. You hope know, and finances just don't go together. Listen, I need a real plan. Yeah, of course, of course, to the logical people who actually know how to run a business or has business sense, right? But y'all gotta also think. I think when he start promoting this, this is also around income tax time. So people started to say, hey, you know what I'm saying? I got a little bit of money." I can go ahead and put this money into that. You know what I mean? Like he sold it very elaborately. I'm seeing older folks dressed to the nines 
on the grand opening and everything. Oh, we raised this much money and so on and so forth. But then it was like after about 30 days, it kind of died down and no action was taken about. And then, oh, we're going to do the Black House. And the Black House was supposed to be like a co-op. You know what I mean? He was giving people tours and everything. And, and that was it. Like, it was, it, looked, it really looked empty for a long time. It was like, what, you, what, you, what are we touring? I need to see people working and so on and so forth. Andrea just put in the chat. She said he is placing the house up for sale. We're going to get to this too. After he refinanced and pulled over a million from it. My Jesus. Let's listen to the rest of this video because this is, this is something. This is something. Result of the fund's near bankruptcy status driven by mismanagement, excessive operating costs, and questionable investment practices. At his last State of the Union address on August 11, 2023, the fund only had $575,531 in cash, which has likely been depleted by now. The Legacy Center, aka the Black House, which was owned in cash for a better part of the six years, was refinanced which allowed Jay Morrison to extract another $1.5 million from the fund to cover significant operating losses and his sizable management fee. Paul. Sizable management fee. First of all, he pulled money out of the property to rescue a failing business and to continue his lifestyle. Now, here's the thing, bro. And now he's selling the black house. Bro, think it. It's going to sit on the market a minute. That's commercial real estate. It's commercial in a time where commercial is just not popping like that. <laughs> Especially not the office building. <laughs> so he really going, he going, he going to sell that thing like a, like a desperate two years. Yeah, probably two years from now. That's, 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 if he, short that's if he don't sell it for half the price. But he got a mortgage. He got a mortgage. Oh, he's trying to clear the college. He's probably trying to clear the mortgage. That's it. So they're going to lose money. Oh, yeah. And he got... We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Oh, man. This this is so disgusting, boy. Let me what, tell you. What's your thoughts about this, man? Put in the comments. Put your, put your comments in there. Or, or join the live, yo. Yeah, join the live. I want to get some honest feedback. Some honest feedback. So let's put this up real quick. Let's see if we can hear this out. Because I want to hear this out. Cause I want to really give, I want to dive and unpack a lot of this. Let's see. As investors, we must confront the harsh reality of this situation. The probability of recovering our investment capital is exceedingly low and the funds remaining assets are insufficient to cover its liabilities. The most egregious violation appears to be the purchase of Jay Morrison's personal residence using the fund's money through an anonymous LLC, Not as yet. well as a one-sided agreement for the adjacent 27 acres of land, which he will personally own and retain for his family when the fund shuts down and cannot act on the fund's right to develop on that land. My Jesus. Whoa, the paperwork is not, the paperwork ain't working. So he bought land in the fund. He bought in a house. In the fund. And he keeps it personal. Whoa. And he did it through a different LLC. Anonymous. Anonymous LLC. Well, that's nuts, boy. And what's so cold about it, my guy's still up here teaching. Like, <laughs> bro, like he got all the answers. Is he still teaching? Bro, he's still <laughs> teaching, bro. Credit, credit life insurance, though. What? <laughs> Swear to God, bro. I told y'all the other day, bro. If you see people pushing courses more than more than they show a product, dog, <laughs> scam likely. But scam he likely. Course, he been a course pusher. He ain't never been in the house, bro. His he, hey, to keep it a billion though. Here, here's here's an even even bigger problem. When he was, I think it was like 2015, but he was up on CNBC as a realtor in Jersey. You know what I mean? Walking houses, luxury houses, and stuff like that, and, and looking like a successful realtor. And then he'd be back on the ground doing whatever, whatever. So he had the workaround. That's that's the thing. He had the workaround. So that's what really stole people because he was on national television doing real estate shows and stuff like that. So with all that backing, it looked like he was doing stuff. But I mean, as as time progressed and I got older and I started learning, you could pay. To be in magazines, because I know people who pay to be in these four magazines. 
you can pay yeah. to be on TV and so on and so forth. I'm like, it's crazy. Like the media want that. Pay to play. Andrea put a great question and she said, I would like to understand the structure of the fund, right? And what can be done legally when you have a manager such as Jay because the uh because they made SEC complaints and it appears what he did was legal. That is a fact. Yeah. Okay. So so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Again, you know, we opened up this conversation by saying a couple things. A legal, good, profitable, sound fund will look very similar to what Jay Morrison did. Now, I'll be honest with you. It may not look as pretty. It may be specific to whatever the investment is, and sometimes not. Sometimes it's not specific to the investment, but it will have a specific focus. May not be as elaborate, may not be as beautiful, may not be as dressed up, and, and, and the pastor coming to speak to you, you may not get none of that in a, in a real fund. But a, a real fund may have a lot of the similar workings of what Jay Morrison put together. But let's look at what, what Jay Morrison did. Right. He has a failing fund that's not performing. Right. He's not doing anything to produce income with the money that he is receiving or not, not enough income with the money he's receiving. He is instead using a lot of the money in marketing and promoting himself. Mm. Not even the fund. He Brandon. is self promoting him <laughs> and his wife respectfully. And he's also taking the funds and doing Dang. questionable things by taking the funds and putting them in his personal house. He getting personal houses, personal land with the funds. The Again, salaries. You never talk about the salaries, big salaries of the board for him and his wife. With no, they getting money with no results. That's with crazy. no results, like when you fire somebody that worked for you that didn't produce, bro, you right. gone. You gotta fire out yourself. There. Out of there. You got ninety days. He had years. So, so here, here's a couple things that we got to look at. Right, number one, we need specifics on funds before we give our money to anybody. Number two, number two, we need to when you have a board. That we need to find out what kind of power that board has to make decisions. What kind of experience. And what kind of experience is on this board. Right? But because at the end of the day, a real board would have already fired Jay Morrison a couple long, years ago. Long time ago. Correct. A real board wouldn't approve them decisions of him to buy his personal residence. A real board at all. wouldn't approve for him to buy the land with no plan. At all. A real boy wouldn't approve of his salary. A real boy probably wouldn't approve of him even building a black house without having some tenants. A real boy would have asked for his resume. They would. They wouldn't even. They wouldn't even hire him. They would have asked for his resume. Oh, he, he that's, that's a lot of red flags, boy. Hey, what have you done? Why, why are we making you the fund manager? Why are we what making you, you the fund manager? Because you speak well. Because you're because you're baby Malcolm. Because you talk with his hands like this. You know, hey, because I could do this at Black Wealth, and like he he talked with his hands like he out there, he out there. Yeah. But y'all remember when he when he went live on Instagram <laughs> at the post office mailing those two dollar checks. You know what I'm you know what I'm fearful of? Like oh oh you said he's into insurance and what else? Uh credit. Credit and okay. life insurance. Let me explain something to y'all, man. When you see folk going from I'm the real estate guy to now I'm the crypto guy, now I'm the stocks guy, now I'm the now I'm the insurance guy, that's a fucking red flag. That Dude. is the definition of a red flag because guess what? It is very arrogant to assume that I am successful as a real estate 
professional and now I'm going to go into a completely different industry and I'm going to be great at this completely different industry. Red fucking flag. Flag on the plate. It don't work that way. Do you know how long it takes for people to understand and master a specific craft? Oh, wow. A long time. 10,000 hours. So you mean to tell me you just going you okay so you a master at this and now you finna go into a completely different business and I'm supposed to believe you and you don't have no track record no proof of success at being able to pull this off successfully and I'm supposed to believe you Paul I swear for Lord, swear for Lord. If you get up man your social security card oh he going oh. No results. Another thing people got to look at is the people that he started with, where they at now. The people that he had businesses with, where they at now. How many lawsuits that man got? Hey, bro, none of his business partnerships ended well. Isaac Grace, Roberta Hosky, Will Roundtree, uh, Beyond Win. Uh, the list goes on, bro. No uh, track record of success.